Welcome to the first week of sports law here at St. John's University. The readings for this week this week's assignment have been posted. The two two basic articles, the first one being what is sports law? The second um, second one being Jackie Robinson to Cobb County. I've just posted a third ESPN article regarding the Patriots deflated ball issue. So, I want, need you to read the first two articles and there'll be discussion questions on those. The third article, please review, and there's a um, discussion question on that on that article also. So let's let's think about this though. Taking the first issue, what is sports law? Is there a substantive area of law that is sport? I don't know. I mean, there are three different views on this. The first is a that sports law has, is its own separate field. It's totally distinct distinct from every other area of law and this is kind of the european point of view the europeans believe in what they call lex sportiva a body of law involving sports because there are certain things about sports um, that need a specificity when it comes to law this issue only applies in sports it wouldn't apply in a regular business setting it's one area. Second area is a more moderate view. These academics, these scholars, the, these sports lawyers point to the fact that there is a body of law that is relevant only to sport. For example, the NCAA rules. The NCAA rules and regulations deal with student athletes and the member institutions, and that's it. There's also an area of law which governs sports agents, that being the Sparta Act which covers just sports agents and also the fact that every sports agent has to be certified with the players association in order to enter into contract negotiations let me back up on that if you want to be an agent and we'll get more to this in the class in, during that, that week session but if you want to be an agent you just can't be an agent you have to be certified with the players association of the sport where you wherein you want to represent players. So if you want to represent NFL players, you need to become certified with the NFL players association. They're responsible for governing and regulating the conduct of agents. So there is that area of law also. And the moderate view is that yeah, there is a area of law which is specific to sports. Um, the NCA, the rules regarding agents, certain federal and state leg uh, legislation regarding how high school athletics should be coordinated and played. The third view is more of a traditional view. And this view points to the fact that there isn't really an area of sports law. It's an amalgamation of all the other areas of sport, of, of, of law, which is applicable in sport. Contracts. For example, contracts are, we have contracts in everyday life. There are also contracts that are specific to sport. Contracts to go out player contracts, for example, a player's contract with a team, a coach's contract with a team, um, the whole collective bargaining agreement between the leagues and the players association is a contract, sponsorship agreements, endorsement agreements, franchise agreements, um, lease agreements for the stadiums and venues. So there are contracts between concessionaires and, and, and the venues themselves. So there's a whole area of law, contract law, which isn't different, but is applicable in sports. So let's take another example. Labor law. Labor law, we have labor law every day, employment law every day. You go to work, there's certain rules, and regulations that, that your company has to follow and you have to follow as an employee. Well, same thing in sports. There are certain things that a franchise has to abide by and there's certain rules and regulations that a player has to abide by and they're not governed by the league they're just governed by law state or federal federal employment law or labor law so i want you to think about that think about all the areas of law that are out there and how they apply to sports we mentioned contracts what about constitutional law we have a constitution each state as a constitution, and there's also the U.S. Constitution. Is this applicable in sports? Yes. First Amendment rights, freedom of speech. Fourth Amendment, you want to enter a stadium, can they search you? So think about 
the fact that the Constitution comes into play in sports also. It's part of that amalgamation, the traditional view. Yeah, there is sport, but it's just a body of all these other areas of law that are not specific to sport, but play a part in sport. So we have contracts. We, we have constitutional law. Think of some more. What other areas? College sports. Right? Eligibility issues. NCAA rules, regulations. Right? Maybe specific to sports, but the NCAA... You know, is more than sports. Certain rules that just students have to follow also. Um, crimes. God knows we heard last semester, that's all we talked about. Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson. Criminal law, right? Be beating your wife, domestic violence, beating your children. Whipping your children with a, t a twitch or switch or whatever it was. You know, that... Area of law comes into play in sports very frequently, especially DUIs, um, drug use, alcohol, um, gambling. So crime is an area of law, but it's also applicable to sports, but it's is it separate and distinct. Torts. That's your area of tort law. Workers' comp. Getting hurt while, while on the field. Getting hurt while on the pitch. Getting hurt while on the court. Are you covered under workers' comp? You could be. Under certain rules and under certain states, yes. What about all the concussion issues? Is that a workers' comp issue? In certain states, it is. In California, it definitely is. So think about it. Think about all the areas of law that come into play with sport. We mentioned a few. Intellectual property is another one. What I like to refer to IP. The use of your image. Right? Players' images are always being taken. Right? The game is played. That's their image. They're capturing the player's image. Do they have a right to capture their image? And if they do, for how long? Is it in perpetuity? Or is it just for that game? Or is it for that game and highlights? So I want you to think about all this. Um, another area is um, antitrust law. Antitrust is a huge area of sports law. It's separate and distinct, but comes into play every time there is an end to a collective bargaining agreement. Except in baseball, of course, because they have that antitrust exemption. So, I want you to think about that. Think about which view you believe in. Are you more of a moderate, more of a traditionalist? Or are you totally believe that there's a separate and distinct area of sports law? I, myself, am more of a traditionalist. I believe that sports is an amalgamation of all these other laws. But, but more than that, too. There is some areas that only are applicable in the arena of sports. Uh, so when you think about that, answer to discussion questions with discussion question um, on that issue. I also want you to think about what is sport? What are sports? Football is a sport. Basketball is a sport. Baseball is a sport. But is checkers? Is checkers a sport? Uh, chess, NASCAR, um, cheerleading. Think, I want you to start thinking about these issues. What actually entails a sport? W what are the criteria that actually make up a sport? Is it the fact that it needs there needs to be a team? No, running is a sport. Jogging is a sport. Okay. Does it need to be played on a field or designated arena? No, you can play in your backyard. Uh, there have to be certain rules and regulations. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, to a certain extent, I think so. There needs to be some sort of rules and regula regulations involved. Does it need to be a ball? No, hockey. There's a puck. So I'm going to think about what actually makes up a sport. Archery? Is archery a sport? Badminton? Um, think about all the different... Rowing? Is rowing a sport? I mean, think, so why do you think about this? What, what actually makes up... A sport. What distinct characteristics make something a sport as opposed to an activity? Or is an activity a sport? And then I want you to think about and start analyzing whether sports is a positive or a negative thing. Most of you all being sports managers I believe that sports has a positive effect. So I want you to start thinking about what positive effects sports has. Um, is it to promote teamwork? I think so. Um, does it promote co um, cooperation? 
Does it promote discipline? But I want you to start thinking about, about that. What issues does sport promote? Does it? Is sacrifice and hard work a good thing? Or is it a bad thing? Does sports promote self-esteem or does it take it away? Um, are, are the Colts, is the Colts self-esteem down because they played with, the, the Patriots allegedly played with deflated balls? I don't know. Does sports promote sportsmanship and fair play? I think so. But do you? Start thinking about these issues. But then start the analyzing whether there's some negative aspects to sport also. There's teamwork, there's personal sacrifice, yes. But is there equal opportunity in sport? Are all allowed to participate in sports? Are women have the same opportunities as men? Should they? Should a woman be able to play in the NFL? I think so. If the, if the, if the athlete is capable, why not? But I want your opinion. I want you to start thinking about that. Start thinking about, you know, all the negative aspects that come with sports. Is, is your athlete selfish? Are they self-absorbed? Are they only thinking about winning? Is that what this deflated ball thing is about? Is it fair? It does, it prom- does sport promote cheating? Is there cheating in sport? Yeah. There is. But what is acceptable? What is not acceptable? Is doping cheating? I don't know. Uh, is, is there... What about the, the other negative aspects, especially in the global aspect, the hooliganism that is involved in international soccer, especially in England and Germany to a certain extent? That's a negative aspect of sport. I want you to start thinking about that. Think about parental violence. You know, your child, one of your child's not getting in the game. You start yelling at the coach. What is that all about? Is that good for society? Does that promote sportsmanship? Or is that a negative? I mean, you want to you wanna back your children, of course, but to what extent? I mean, to the point where you're going to take a baseball bat to a coach? It has happened. Also, think about the role that money plays in sport. Um, the gambling aspect. The promoting of gambling in New Jersey now by Governor Christie. Um, the amount that players are paid. Is it a fair amount? The amount that a college athlete is paid. Or not paid. Is that a fair amount? Um, with that, with all the recruitment violations that go with um, recruiting student athletes. I mean, is there payment? Is there promises made? So, these are all the issues we're going to start discussing over the next 13, 14 weeks. We're going to start analyzing. We're going to start delving into. So, why don't you start... This class, I want you to read what is sports law, analyze it, answer the discussion questions in accordance with this, with that. Read the article, Jackie Robinson to Cobb County. Answer the discussion question in accordance with, with that article. And then, like I said, um, this whole issue with the Patriots and the deflated footballs, and is it relevant? And do we care? So um, this is your assignment for the week. I will post another video probably on Friday or Saturday morning um, in response to some of the discussion questions. I'll respond online to some of the discussion comments and questions as we go along, but I like to do a little wrap up um, if there's something that's sticking sticking out um, or, or an issue that needs to be flushed out more than I can, can write in a discussion board. So... I will post another discussion board probably on, on, on Friday evening or Saturday morning. I would check about Saturday afternoon to make sure. Sure. If Again, if you have any questions in the interim, please feel free to, to email me. Please feel free to call me. Um, if you wish to Skype, again, um, let me know and we'll set up a time where we can do that. There have been some questions um, sent to me via email. Hopefully I've answered them all. If I haven't um, or if I don't get to them by the end of today, resend, them, resend it. Give me a heads up, and uh, we'll go from there. Good luck, and uh, welcome to Sports Hall. Take care.